In this video, we will show you how to replace your cooling fan assembly on this Ford Flex. This will be located along the front of your engine compartment. Let's get into it. Now up inside the engine compartment, we're going to start removing the air filter housing and the air inlet tube. To do that, we can use an angled pick and we're going to dislodge the wiring from the air filter housing. Once you have that separated, continue on to the mass airflow sensor. On this mass airflow sensor, along the bottom of it, you're going to find that you have a red locking tab. I'll show you that in one second. We'll just dislodge that, squeeze on the locking tab underneath here, and gently pull this out of place. That's the locking tab, and then after that I squeezed right in this black area. A quick inspection for corrosion and set that aside. Now we can make our way up that air inlet tube. We're going to disconnect this by grabbing onto this little gray lock. We'll give that a little tug and pull this off. You can set this aside. Continue following it up. You're going to find that you have a hose in this area. We'll just gently pry this out of place. Give it a quick squeeze. Make sure it is soft and pliable and it's not torn, worn, or damaged. Continue on to your eight millimeter headed clamp that holds the air inlet to your throttle body. With that loose, we can give this a little tug to separate it from the throttle body. Underneath that area, you're going to find that you have two metal clips holding the top area of the air filter housing to the bottom. We'll pop both of those out of place. Go ahead and grab onto this and remove it from the vehicle. Now we can grab onto that air filter pull it up and out of there. You want to give it a close inspection. If it looks like it has to be replaced, now's a perfect time to do that. We'll set this aside. Now we can remove this plastic panel. Underneath that, you'll find that you have two eight millimeter headed bolts. Remove the pair. Now we can take hold of the air filter box. We're going to give it a little wiggle and lift it up and out of here. Follow the upper radiator hose to where it connects onto the radiator. In this area, you're going to find a clamp that you can squeeze with some hose clamp pliers or just some regular pliers. Once we give that a squeeze, we'll pull this hose off of the radiator. Give the end of the hose a quick inspection, make sure it's not torn or worn. If you see any cracks, you're going to want to replace this. Set this aside away from the radiator assembly. Now we can start disconnecting things from the fan shroud itself. For this, we'll come right over to the hood release cable, pop that out of place. Continue dismounting the wiring, making its way all the way down to the driver's side connector. We use our trim tool, get in between this area and separate it. There's another one hidden down inside this area. It's a little bit harder to get to. Make your way to the connector. On this, there's a little tab you can squeeze in and pull this out of place. A quick check for corrosion. Now let's continue following that wiring harness across the top of the fan. The next clips make their way up along here. For these, there's two little tabs. You can generally squeeze them in either by hand or with some pliers and pull this out of place. Should be a clip right down here. That one popped out already. Keep making our way down the line. Now we can make our way to that fan connector. Pressing on that locking tab and pull this out of position. Quick inspection for corrosion. Once you have the wiring disconnected, move along to removing each of your two eight millimeter headed bolts. You'll have one on each side of the fan assembly.
Now we'll make our way over to the other side of the fan and do the same thing. Now we can grab hold of all this, push it out of the way, and remove the fan assembly. There it is, friends. On the fan assembly, you're going to want to remove a couple pieces. We have the upper radiator hose hook, and then on the other end, you have the area for the hood release cable. Transfer all this over to the brand new assembly. All right, now we can get ready to install our brand new fan assembly. Now, before we put the upper radiator hose hook on here, let's make our way to putting this down into position. As we slide it down, it's a good idea to have the hose and the wiring pressed towards the rear of the vehicle. While we bring it down, be extremely careful not to ruin the fins on your radiator. set the fan down in position. While we bring the fan down, make sure you align the tabs with the hooks that are on the radiator. There's that one. Once you have both of those tabs aligned properly, continue on with your two mounting bolts. We'll start those into the hole. After you have both of them started, you can snug them up. Now we can put the hood release cable bracket in place. Let's grab that cable. Make your way to the center of the fan. We'll put this in position. Press it in, listen for a click. Give it a wiggle to make sure it's secure. Now you can take that upper radiator hose and put it back in place. Let's make our way to doing the wiring. We'll connect the electrical connector on the driver's side fan. Just align this and press it into place. Listen for a click. There's our click. Now we can start resecuring this, making our way around the fan assembly. Now we can start making our way down along here. Let's continue making our way across, lift up on that upper radiator hose. Continue pressing these into position. Before we put in that last one, let's make our way to the electrical connector. It's going to come directly into the corner here. Listen for a click, give it a tug, and now we can resecure our last mounting point here. Now we can put in the lower air filter box. Looking at this, you can tell you have two tabs that protrude out from the bottom, and down inside the engine compartment, you'll have two rubber grommets for them to slide into. Let's get this aligned and slide it down into place. Start in each of those two mounting bolts, snug them up. Install the cover that goes over this area. On the bottom, you have two tabs. They fit into their corresponding slots. Install your air filter. Now we can move along to the upper air filter housing and air inlet tube. When you go to install this, you wanna make sure you have your three mounting tabs aligned with the corresponding slots in the lower housing. Now we'll align the air inlet tube with the throttle body. Bring this down into place. You want to make sure you press this all the way up against the throttle body. 
and tighten that eight millimeter headed clamp so no dirty or unmetered air makes its way into the engine. Press the box down as far as you can and lock it in with your two locking tabs. Now we can reconnect the mass airflow sensor. Once you press it in, you want to make sure you lock it in with the red locking tab. Just go ahead and press that all the way inward. Feels like it's secure. I'll lock it in. Resecure the wiring harness to the corner of the air filter housing. Let's follow that air inlet tube, reconnect this line. Give it a click, give it a tug, make sure that's secure. We'll continue following it up. Reconnect this hose, press it in, make sure that's secure. Okay friends, we've got our fan assembly installed in the vehicle. At this point, you wanna go ahead and start up the vehicle, let it run, and get up to operating temperature. At that point, the cooling fans should turn on. After that, go ahead and take your vehicle for a road test. Thanks for watching. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.